Hey folks, it's William with All Solar Texas. The number one question that we get from customers is how much does solar cost and is it within my budget? Well, I'll break down all the costs for you in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. But before we dive in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you stay up to date with all the latest energy news. And don't forget to tap that notification bell. That gives you early access to the content that we produce on the channel. Lastly, give us a call. We love hearing from our customers. Email us, text us, check out our website. We're here for you and we'll get back quickly. Now the number one question we typically get from customers is, how much is a solar system going to cost me? That's a great question, right? Now normally we like to walk the customer through all of the cost savings, which we've done in another video and I'll drop a link to it in the description below and you could check it out. But for this video, we're just going to break down the cost for you. Now when we talk about solar system costs, we have to think about it in a few ways. First, we have to ask ourselves, what type of solar system are we looking to get? Now there's two primary options that customers will have to evaluate for their own needs. One is called a grid type solar system. What does that mean? It means that you're still in charge of producing your own electricity. So you're still saving tons of money because now you're not having to uh, pay all of those high escalating utility bills, but you're still tied to the grid, which is great if you plan on using a lot of energy at night or when the sun isn't out, maybe during a really cloudy day, the grid then becomes your backup. Or an off-grid system. An off-grid system means you're totally self-contained. You're not connected to the grid in any way which means that all of your energy is going to be produced and used within that singular system. So what you'll see with an off-grid system is you normally have a very large capacity battery. Now that battery is what is the primary cost difference between a grid tied system and an off-grid system. Typically a battery will be about 30 or 40 percent of the overall system cost if that's what you go with. So if you go with a grid tied system and don't decide to install that same high capacity battery, you could be saving some money there. Now another key component of the overall cost of a solar system is the size of the system itself. Now when I say size, I'm talking about how much electricity does it actually produce. The typical home in Texas is about 2,000 square feet, give or take, and it consumes about 14,000 kilowatt hours per year. That's how much electricity that that home will require per year. So if you install a solar system that's less than 14,000 kilowatts, it may cost you a little bit less, but you're still going to have a utility bill versus building a 100% offset of that, which is you consume 14,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, and that's the exact size system that you install, you're not gonna be looking at a utility bill. Now, what we typically encourage our customers to do is not just think about how much electricity you use today, but how much you're going to be using. It really depends on where you're at in your life. Are you planning on having a few more kids? Are you planning on installing a jacuzzi or installing a pool, right? All of that's gonna require more energy. So be thinking about where you're at in your life and you may want to consider installing a little bit more than what your actual home needs right now. So if you're, let's say, using 10,000 kilowatt hours right now, but you're a young family and you're going to have a couple of kids and you know those kids are going to start sucking energy. I know mine do, right? They're always on the games and on the Twitters and all of that stuff. Well, then you want to make sure that you would install a larger system. So you may want to offset at 110 or maybe 120 percent of your overall capacity which will cost you a little bit more upfront, but it's going to save you in the long run because you're never going to have to worry about utility bills ever again now let's talk about quality my grandfather always used to say you get what you pay for did yours say that they were right weren't they it's no different here with solar so you might be looking at two panels that seem to look alike and the salesman will show them to you and say this one's much cheaper than these guys and they're probably right but there's a reason for that when we talk about quality we're not just talking about the materials that they're made from but we're talking about the overall production capacity of each solar panel we're talking about how quickly does one solar panel degrade over another what does that mean well let's say you install a solar system with cheap panels at a 100 percent offset so you're able to produce 100 percent of the electricity that you need per year but let's say that that solar system degrades quicker than another higher quality solar system. That means in 10 years, you're maybe producing 90% of what you thought you would be producing because you went with the cheaper option versus going with the higher quality option where you're still producing 
There's a difference there, a key difference. And it's gonna cost you in the long run if you don't look at the quality of solar panels that you're purchasing and making sure you're getting high capacity, high producing, low degrading solar systems. Now let's talk about manufacturing. Manufacturing doesn't play a, as big of a role in the overall cost of a solar system as you might imagine. Now, whether or not your solar panels are manufactured right here in the United States, like ours are, down in San Antonio is where we get our solar panels from, or if you buy them overseas. All I would say is simply this. If you're a do-it-yourself kind of person and you wanna save money by ordering the solar panels direct from the manufacturer overseas, just be careful. We're talking about electricity and we're talking about safety. Make sure that that company has a trade agreement with the United States and that we inspect those products before they come over here. That's the only way to keep your family and yourself safe from do-it-yourself projects. All right, let's wrap this all up by talking about the federal tax incentive. Now, we've spoken a lot about the federal tax incentive in other videos. I'll link them down below in the description. But when you're talking about the overall cost of a system, you have to factor in that beautiful 26% federal tax incentive right now. So if you install solar five years from now, that same system is going to cost you 26% more than it will today. It's a factor. We need to consider it and make sure that you take advantage of it while it's still here. So I get it. I still haven't told you how much solar systems cost. Well, I wanted to break down all the different variables and factors that go into a solar system. But if you want averages, well, let's take a look at the average Texas home. Just over 2,000 square feet. They use about 14,000 kilowatt hours per year. We're looking at an overall cost of about $31,000 before the federal tax incentive. Once you apply that federal tax incentive, you're looking at a much lower rate. But you have to figure out what's right for you. You have to take a look at your energy profile. So give us a call. We'll give you a free energy savings report. We'll meet with you virtually or in person. We'd love to meet your family, take a look at your house, see how much you're uh, actually consuming in electricity, and then make sure we design the perfect system within your budget with financing options that are going to completely free you up from ever having to pay another utility bill. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining. But before you take off, make sure to drop a comment below and let us know what do you prefer, an off-grid system or a grid-type system? Can't wait to hear about it. Thank you so much, and God bless.